Back to sudo again. It's all up to the user to keep their operating system secure. It's not their fault, you know, it's not the manufacturer's fault when things like this go wrong. It's all up to the user to make sure that they've got good security practices. I've never had a virus on Windows. And I've never had any problems with a Linux system either. But let's take this worst case scenario here. Some new guy who's never used Ubuntu before, well before now anyway, you know, has come onto a forum and said, oh look, I can't get my wireless working, you know, I'm new, I don't have a clue, I don't know what I'm doing. So this guy, who can fuck around and have a complete laugh here, has said, look, install YCD. So that sounds legit so far, doesn't it? So, they're going to install YCD. You see, and what the thing is here, is that they've invoked sudo now. So there's 15 minutes for this guy to fuck about and get them to do whatever he wants. Because they're not going to know, you know, they're not going to know. So I wrote a script, you know, and he's saying, download it, you know, it'll work. So this person will download it. Then they're going to, you know, they're going to run it. What it's going to do is, it's going to delete my downloads directory and it's going to uninstall YCD. So not only are they going to lose files, they're going to be totally fucked with wireless, you know, because let's face it, the guy on the forum would be just pissing himself laughing. So yeah, it could be worse, you know, he could have put, he could have deleted their entire root partition or forced their files to be uploaded somewhere. You can do whatever you want. So look, let's see. Let's run the script. Ready? Watch the downloads folder. See what happened there? It's done. That's it. They've, they've lost, not only have they lost any chance of wireless working, they've also lost any downloads they may have had. There's another program I found in the default install called Computer Janitor. Now, I found this to be really, really bad what it does. Now, I've installed Opera already. See, look, there's Opera. If I launch Computer Janitor. Um, it, it wants to remove Opera. Now, I don't know if this is a huge bug or if Ubuntu is really restrictive. I don't know, but this is disgusting. You do not ever complain about IE being integrated with Windows or anything unless you remove this program because this is just as bad it's restricting you it's terrible I thought it's supposed to be all free and open source Woo! you know it's not because it wants to remove Opera and will it actually do it did not even ask for my password so Opera's fucked now, let's go back in it's gone! now it's going to remove other stuff just let it do it this program shouldn't be installed by default because if this is a bug, it's a fucking terrible bug it re it's restrictive, it's, it's, it's nothing less than restrictive if it's going to do this I thought computer janitor would be like CC cleaner on Windows, you know. It would remove temporary files and shit, but it doesn't. It removes packages that aren't installed by default. It, well, I should say it removes packages that aren't installed from the repos. So, computer janitor is fucking terrible. It's the worst piece of software that you could possibly install on here. If it's going to do that, that is. That needs to be sorted out. It, that needs to be sorted out without a doubt unless that's the intended behavior of it and if so I think everyone should switch away from Ubuntu because it's gonna get more restrictive you know they won't just do this they'll do more in the future obviously they're not gonna just do this my final experiment here is going to be removing GNOME and installing KDE or shall I say installing KDE then removing GNOME now I'm not gonna install the whole bloated Kubuntu desktop thing so we'll in, we'll just install KDE base. Well, that's a lot. Actually, all this looks like real dependencies this time. 
My f fuck, it is. It's real dependencies. Wow. Um, I'm going to pause the video while this is downloading because this is going to take forever and ever, probably. Not downloading it so much. I bet it takes longer to install than it does to download. Done. It's installed. Oh. The KDE programs are in. So, at least we know something installed, right? Let's just see what happens. <laughs> oh. You know what? QT4 on GNOME doesn't look all that bad. It's working as well. Alright, well that's pleasing actually. I didn't expect this to work. Um, I'm gonna switch to KDE now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop the video. Well, as you can see, we're in KDE now. Which is really, really slow on here, and it's not KDE's fault. It's definitely not KDE's fault. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, what? Oh, 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 this is bad. CPU usage is really bad now. This is at an all time high. Um, no window borders. It's taken ages to do anything, and there's, there's no window borders. I did install. I, I installed all the packages that are relevant. Oh, oh well. I'm uninstalling this system anyway. I'm gonna get new opens use on there. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. I'll make a video on it. But yeah, that concludes the Ubuntu videos. I can't remove GNOME because I can't get into the package manager. Unless... Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go back into GNOME.